Well, all right, Christy had to do the job for me again. She caught the two fish. You don't have to hold them. <laughs> we already <laughs> Yeah, good job, Christy. Woohoo! All right, large pole is finally nice to me after my fourth try trying to get you. Catch a fish, I finally got one. <laughs> Heck yeah. Come on in. We already got my fish for dinner, so I'm gonna let this one go. Look at that. See? It can be done. Okay, go home. You squished me in the face and everything. <laughs> I gotta watch that back on slow mo. That's pretty. Pretty colors on this one. Third time's the charm on Lodge Pole. Skunked the first two times. Finally got one. Of course, Christy had to catch one here first. And it was bigger. So, I guess I'll just have to call Christy the big fisher woman. All right, I just noticed some more berries. These ones are a dark, dark purple, almost black. I don't know. I don't know what they are. I don't know my berries that well, other than the raspberries up here that we had that are really yummy. And the grouse berries, I know what those look like pretty well. But all the others, couldn't tell you. Oh my gosh, these flowers, look at that thing. So pretty. All right, hooked up again. Come on. This one feels bigger. Yeah, it's a nice fat brook. It's like dinner to me. Did you keep it? Oh, yeah. Easy there, slugger. I know you heard dinner, but it's just the way it goes sometimes. Ouch. Sucker. Man, he's a fat one. Look at that. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, I'm hooked up again. Let's see if we can actually bring this one in this time. The last one got off. Dang it. Oh, yeah. Looks like we got ourselves a little, little cutthroat. Heck, yeah. Well, a little. It's, it's a pretty nice one, actually. Pretty good fighter. Oh yeah, look at that. Little 13 incher. Easy there, slugger, I'll get you off. Yeah, look at that. Nice. All right, we're off on another bushwhack adventure. Heading up to this big old boulder field so that we can climb up it a little ways and get a good view of the valley. It's a spectacular view. It's worth the climb. We're going to do it. So we're going to scramble up that a little bit. Not far. 
but enough that we can get above tree line right here, get a view of the valley. Look at that. Like, yeah. So we're gonna go right up, yep. right up to about right there. That All right, we're doing it. Insert dramatic music here. Dun, 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 dun. Look, we're almost above tree line. Check out those views. Climbing this boulder chute is pretty steep. So worth the climb though. Because when we get up there, we'll turn around. It'll be spectacular. Whew! Bryce is taking the lead. His middle name is Goat, as in Mountain Goat. Oh, yeah. Heck yeah, thumbs up on that view, huh? Yeah. Right on, check it out. Yeah. All right, just to give you an idea how high we are. Christy stayed back, and she's right down there at the bottom. That's if I can find her. Let's see. Oh, I'm in the wrong spot. Oh, there she is. Center screen. Yeah, she's down there ways. All right, we've done our view. We're heading down. It's easier climbing up than it is climbing down. Got to be super careful climbing on this stuff. These rocks will roll out from under you. Next thing you know, you're on your head or on your butt. All right, time to prepare some fish. We have had a good day on the wakes today. Caught some nice uh, brook trout. So we got some powdered butter, freeze dried, and some lemon pepper seasoning. All right, put them on the foil. And then I'm going to sprinkle a little lemon pepper on both sides and in the middle. A little bit of dried butter or freeze dried butter. Get that one in the middle and on the other side. We'll roll it up. Seal in the juices. I like to fold it like that. Crimp it down in so it doesn't come undone. Close in the end. 
keep the juices in. We want it to kind of broil inside of itself. Don't want to lose any juices. So double wrap it. And we're double wrapped. And ready to go in the fire. All right, Bryson's going to try to start a fire using a flint and steel. He's got his little bird nest there that he got from some dead grass. We got all our little stuff right here ready to go on it if we get a flame. All right, we're going to give it a try. I'm going to zoom in on the action. Oh. Getting some good sparks there. It's gonna go. Ooh. Oh, that one went. Yeah. Oh, look at that. It's going. Oh, okay. Let's try again. That was close. Okay, there you go. Okay, so we fold that up so that it keeps burning. Okay, and then we're going to put this stuff on there because it likes to burn. Baby, then you're gonna put this small stuff on there. Who needs matches when you get rice around? Come on, that was straight on. Yeah, a little bit of more of that magic. Look at that. All right, we got Stephanie's gonna try the fire bush, Bigfoot bushcraft fire plug, flint and steel. There you go. And now that it's burning, you wanna just carefully feed, feed the fire. All right, I think we have sustained flame now. Keep adding that, we're good to go. All right, we got the fish on the fire. We're gonna cook fast with that much heat. Yeah. So we'll roll them over in just a couple of minutes. All right, I just pulled that one off the fire. Looks good. Let's see if I can get a fork in it and see how it turned out. Oh, look at that. Just peels off. Let's give it a try. Lemon, pepper, and butter. Oh, geez, that's so good. All right, I was told to pack uh, smaller and lighter. Uh, so my daughter, she gave me these little mini uh, mini coca-colas and uh, it's told if you just add a little water to them they'll poof up into a regular coke zero they're kind of like these little uh, compressed towelettes you just open the packet add a little water and poof they turn into a like a little towelette so we're gonna try that out so I got a little bit of water here and I put on whoops put on my uh, little mini Coke Zero here. You're supposed to let it set for a minute and then it uh, turns into the regular, the real deal. Okay, so I filled it up. Now, I think you just gotta say the magic word, heck yeah, and it turns into a regular Coke Zero. See, 
<laughs> it's the real deal right there. It's not a fake. It's the real thing. I gotta do that more often. That's awesome. Looks like we got My us some. Stick is too it's like curved. It's we the got wrong these. Way. Got these short sticks. Hot fire. Trying to roast marshmallows. Roasting your hand, huh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right on. This is fun to watch. They're gonna get it. The one side is fine, but I can't get the other side without burning my finger. All right, I guess I better try when I got the rotisserie mala roaster going. Mm, look at that. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking right there. Look at that. Oh, it's cooked all the way through. I'm going to have to bite it off. It's our temp hike. All right, it's time to visit the, revisit the Rosebud Thorn. I'm going to do it for this trip. Uh, Stephanie and Bryson's second backpack trip ever. Christy's second of the year. And uh, we're going to talk about the favorite part of the trip, the least favorite part of the trip, and what we hope to happen uh, in the future. Christy wants to go first, so her rose is uh, um, catching. I don't know, about five or six fish today. Catching some big and the biggest big lunkers mm -hmm. there. Yeah, heck yeah. So that was pretty awesome. Um, the thorn. It's kind of from last night into this morning. I, I just didn't sleep well, so I'm hoping. That I will sleep much better tonight, and then I hope that we have a safe trip out of here and and we we drive home safely. Awesome, Stephanie. Uh, so my rose would have to be that Bryson came with me. Yay! Yay! My son came. Thank we yeah. had fun. We got to hang out for the weekend. Um, my thorn would be that my back was so sore after waking up this morning <laughs> oh, so another rough night's sleep sounds like yeah. yeah and then i'm looking forward to stopping and getting a uh, coke zero cherry tomorrow oh, yeah. on the way down <laughs> she's talking my language <laughs> all right bryson uh my rose was doing the older field today because that view was really good that amazing view huh yeah yeah. The thorn was walking into the lake because it was really cold. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you walk into the lake? To get hurt hook because it got stuck on a rock. You saved the day. Saved the yeah. day. Yeah. So your thorn was saving the day. So that's almost a plus. Anyway. And then the bud is, I hope I sleep good. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> we had a long day on the trail today, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So my turn. My rose for this trip was seeing everybody having fun and seeing everybody catch a fish. So that was awesome for me to see everybody else having fun, and I even had fun too. So it was, it was that was my rose for sure. Um, my thorn was my lure. My line snapped, and my lure went all the other side of the lake. So now I gotta replace my lure. Another four bucks down the drain. Dang it. It's a lucky lure, too. I know. That was the one we were catching all the fish on. Dang it. Mm -hmm. And then my bud for tomorrow is that we have great weather hiking out. I don't mm -hmm. wanna hike out in crappy weather. Mm -hmm. So Amen. there we have it. All in all, Love it. A success on this trip? Yeah, yeah. great it's trip. Been awesome. Great trip. That's fun. So fun. Great weather, man. We awesome. Thank you, everybody.
All right, got the uh, sun. It's just starting to hit the mountain there, making it glow with that brilliant orange. And uh, for breakfast this morning, I'm gonna try this uh, mountain house granola and blueberries and milk. Yeah, it's packed with granola, blueberries. They must have sugar in there too, because that's really good. Looks like it's going to be a, another fantastic day in Granddaddy Basin. Start of a lovely morning. We got the sun rising over here. Granddaddy Lake down here. Uh, looks like we're getting ready to do our breakfast chores and then we're going to head on out of here. But just wanted to highlight this uh, meal that Christy brought. It's part of our freeze dried stuff we've been doing. She freeze dried some scrambled eggs, freeze dried some. Uh, <clears throat> onions and some peppers and uh, I'm going to reheat, rehydrate that as part of her breakfast this morning so we'll see how it turns out. Alright I rehydrated this with some hot water and I can see that Christy added some bacon bits in there. I'm not going to steal her meal I'm just going to sample it. Oh yeah, heck yeah, Christy, way to go. Good stuff right there. She's gonna like that. All right, we're all done. Got our tent broke down, donning our packs ready for the trail. Just wanna show you what we did with the fire pit. So we built the fire, we dug a hole, and then uh, when we're all done, we just bury it. Sprinkle some forest debris on it and can't even hardly tell we had a fire there at all. So anyway, leave no trace. All right, it's just after 8 a.m. We're hitting the trail. We got everybody all packed up and ready to bushwhack our way out of here because that's how we got in here. Yeah, it's looking pretty thick in here. All right, we just made it through that thick stuff over there. Now, you can kind of see through the sun there a clear path. That's where we're headed. It's kind of a game trail, but it is a legit bushwhack. It's off trail. Check out the shimmer on the water. Heck yeah. You think that'll do it? I think so. Yeah. Yeah? That'll hold it up. Heck yeah. All right, we're coming on to the finish line here. It's time to set up for the high five finish. Heck yeah, the hoorah. Headed to a Coke Zero hoorah finish. All right, high five finish. Oh. Whoop, whoop, whoop. We did it. We did it, we did it. Second trip of the year. Yeah, we made it. Second we made uh, it. backpacking Woo. trip ever. Oh. <laughs> that was a Clean miss. <laughs> awesome. All right, well that's a wrap. High five finish. Until next time, granddaddy. Woohoo!